Hi, welcome to this video on combining functions. Now, I've got three functions here, f of x equals 2x minus 3, g of x equals 3 over x where x is not equal to 0, and h of x equals x squared. And what we've got to find is in part 1 fg of x, and in part 2 gfh of x, and in part 3 fff of x. So let's get started then and look at part 1 fg of x. So with this one we've got f of g of x. So what is g of x? Well it's 3 over x. So pop that in there. So now we need to do f of 3 over x, so that means wherever we see an x in f of x, we replace it with 3 over x. So that's going to be 2 times, and here we have the x, so that's going to be replaced with 3 over x, and then we have minus 3. And if we simplify this, what we end up is 6 over x, minus 3. So that's fg of x. Now we'll look at example 2 then. In part 2 we have gfh of x. So gfh of x. What we have now is gf of h of x. And h of x is x squared. Next we have g of f of x squared. So again we have to replace any x in f of x with x squared. So that becomes two lots of x squared minus the 3. And if I simplify this we have g of 2x squared minus 3. So I now need to replace any x in g of x with 2x squared minus 3. So what we have is 3 then divided by 2x squared minus 3. So that's gfh of x. And in my last example, I chose this example just to have a repeating function fff of x. So we have f f of f of x, which is the 2x minus 3. Now I need to have f of f of x being f of 2x minus 3. So I replace any x with 2x minus 3. And so we're going to have two lots of 2x minus 3 minus another 3. Simplify this, we have f of 4x, then we have minus 6 minus a further 3, so that's minus 9. And all I need to do now is replace x in f of x with 4x minus 9. So we've got two lots of 4x minus 9, and then minus 3. Expand this and simplify, we have 8x, then we have minus 18 minus a further 3, is minus 21. Okay, so hopefully you're able to see how I've worked these examples out and can use that as a backdrop to the examples that you might be given. 